Hello and welcome back to George's Gaming Guys. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Batmobile. The set number is 70905 and this set is made out of 581 pieces. Now this set includes five minifigures, two of them are unique. They are two Kabuki twins, I think that's how you say it, and the other three minifigures that are included in the set is uh, are Man Bat, Batman and Robin. Now the set measures over 3 inches or 10 centimetres high, 11 inches or 29 centimetres long, and 5 inches or 15 centimetres wide. And this is a retired set from LEGO and it actually came out in 2017. So this set is now 6 years old. Um, but before I go over the set, let's go over the minifigures, so I'll be right back. So we have the first two minifigures, but I'm only going to go over one of them as they are both the exact same minifigure. So this is one of the Kabuki twins. So as you can see, it has like white makeup on the face, it has almost like Wolverine claws, and then is in a pretty much red suit with not much printing on it at all. There's none on the back of the legs, and there's a little bit on the back on its back, but there's none on the back of the head either and then there's some slight red and some slight white printing on the chest um, and that's uh, about it for the minifigure so next we have man bat so he has um, like uh, pointed ears obviously with the wings on his arms he has got a like a, a printed piece of fur on his chest and a little bit like on the top of his back as well um, so you can sort of see how they've moulded the hairpiece which is obviously the ears is on as well and I think that is quite a nice mould actually I think that goes done quite well with that and then he's got his blue trousers on now we have Batman so he's obviously got his cape his helmet which can be taken off if I could just get it off, there we go. So, you can either have him with like a stern face or like he's talking. So as you can see, he's got his trusty Batarang and then he's got the Batman suit on with like the yellow belt and then the Batman symbol just above, well, just, yeah, just on his chest. Um, and last but certainly not least, we have Robin. So he's got his like huge goggles on with like his bat gun. He's got the Robin suit with the little R um, on the left hand side of his chest. He's got his yellow belt and then some printing on the chest and legs and then he's got his yellow cape which is quite nice. Now I think the mould for the hairpiece is quite good as well. I think that's just quite um, slick and smooth. I just think it's a really nice design. And yes, yeah, so I think that is it for the minifigures so let's go over the rest of the set. So this is the finished model, and overall I do think that it is really nice. Um, so let's go from the front to the back. So as you can see, there are quite a few intricate details on the front. So you do have like the Mercedes, uh, nice Mercedes car does. You have the Mercedes bit on the front of the car, or like Rolls Royce. But this is a Batarang, which I think is quite a nice detail. Then you do actually have the number plate on the car as well. So let's get that close up to the car. So the number plate is B I uh, B T one T U D sorry. Um so overall um I think that is quite an intricate detail. I think they did quite a nice job of that. Now you may have just heard this clicking. So not only does this move but the wheels do move as well. So the wheels can go in uh, a couple of directions and then so does the whole part of the tire. So you can actually put all four wheels up like this. So if you put them all up you actually make it like an off-road kind of Batmobile. So it is obviously as long as a bat of a Batmobile, but it is like an off-road kind of Batmobile, which I do think is a very nice design. Um, so if I just bring the wheels back out so it's uh, back to normal. Now you will see that it does stand pretty well, even with them at different heights, which is uh, which is quite good. I think that's quite a nice detail. And just really good engineering on Lego's part, to be fair. Um, so these bits at the back do move inwards and outwards, which is quite nice. And then there is this little purple bit at the back. And if you do just turn that, it will make the top pop off. So you open this, and you can actually get to the driver's seat. There's a couple of screens, a couple of buttons. There's the steering wheel. 
but there isn't actually a proper seat, which is a little bit annoying. But you can't fit too many figures in, obviously, Batman and Robin. Um, now, this was actually based off of the um, Lego Batman film. Um, and I just think that this is a really nice design. I think Lego's captured it really well and have done an absolutely amazing job. Um, and yes, yeah, so overall, I would really recommend this model. And yeah, so thanks again. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure that you like, subscribe, if you've your thoughts about it, and also make sure you watch out for this Sunday's video, which is going to be my review on Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle.